Hello, my Aquarian friends. Guiding Halo here. Let's see what's coming in for you mid-June money, finance, and career. What's coming in for you guys mid-June money, finance, and career? Mid-June money, finance, and career. You guys mid-June money, finance, and career. Eight of Wands. Events moving at a fast pace. Delays are over many things happening at once. You guys are about to head into some fast movement. Three of Pentacles. You better buckle up, buckle up, Buttercup. I feel like you're joining forces with somebody to create a brand new beginning, and it's going to work out beautifully. The power of creativity, recognition for high quality work, con see contracts, being a team player. Intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions, good health at this time, which is perfect. We need that in order for all this fast movement to happen. Wishes granted, there's un there's some sort of, the Wheel of Fortune is spinning. There's some sort of modicum of un trying to decide whether something is actually wish granted or more frustration than it's actually supposed to be, or you want it to be. Yeah, okay. Eight of Wands. We have, oh yeah, heavy mind, you see? All up in your mind, sleepless night, stress, worry, aggravation. You're, you're very heavy on the mental side of things, is wondering if you're doing the right thing here. Fast forward movement comes, perhaps taking you out of this. There's that fast forward movement, communication from a distance. I wonder if you're getting some sort of psychic insight here, a thought process, something comes in or someone's thoughts come in that put you in hangman mode about a circumstance or a situation. Oh, I see. Fast forward movement. There's communication that comes in that hops you out of this hangman tree. You're going to have to ask the divine for clarity on it for sure, but I'm just saying. It hops you out of that hangman tree. There's some sort of getting out while well, the getting's good. It's like you're, this communication that comes in helps you move forward in a beautiful way, getting out while the getting's good. It's like you find the fulfillment you need. It's like taking all that you know and moving on, leaving the indecision behind, signing a contract. I don't, you wonder if someone's lying to you. There's some sort of fast forward movement with communication and you feel you're all up in your head about someone lying to you about something. Can I trust it? You feel as though someone has a toxic connection. There could be something to do with a Saturn here needing you to put one foot in front of the other and build something through steps not having it instantly there's good news on the horizon very good news for you something about coming into into intimate relationships and business finance career I, I also feel as though it's family related you could be dealing with a Capricorn or feeling tied to a circumstance that you're not sure is going to work for you. Capricorn energy, you see? Someone focusing on their finances, trying to put something in play so that the finances can, can come to fruition in a certain way. I wonder if there's somebody in your life that you can't seem to let go of. Mentally, financially, whatever it is, they're like coming in and like you just can't seem to drop it. You're asking the divine, why? Like, why? Somebody in your world is high priestess energy. This could be you, it could be another. But someone focusing on waiting for the moment, the perfect moment for the words to say when you need to say them. Really using your intuition, realizing that maybe that's why there's all of this mind energy. Keeping your thoughts to yourself, I feel. This is to yourself, thoughts to yourself. Communication that comes in, keeping it to yourself. Somebody is creating some havoc surrounding money and a toxic tie to it. Somebody's toxic belief set or belief pattern here about joining forces. Yeah, it's causing some sort of conflict or competition. I feel as though this could be a children scenario. This could be like I feel it's family related over some sort of legacy or something. We have moving away from rough. Okay, we have someone manifesting a way to broaden their horizons. Maybe what you're looking at to look for family for the support, maybe your support is going to come outside of the family unit is what I'm hearing. Broadening your horizons, moving away from the mental fuckery of the whole scenario and the wheel of fortune spins. That's what's crowning the reading. It's time of absolute positive change, psychic insights, more going on here than meets the eye. 
there's something coming in for you if you're dealing with earth signs there's something coming in for you in the financial world and the coming together of i'm just not so sure you trust it at all but this is all about divine timing perhaps you've thought it's something that's not supposed to be even though you're putting your money and effort and time into it perhaps that's how you thought but the divine has said it's not that it's not supposed to be it's about divine timing we have to put more things into play before you step into this Mother Mary and Archangel Zadkiel. So it's got something to do with a commitment to a spiritual being. Someone's mother very well may have been incredibly spiritual and been a type of guide for somebody here. It's about the foundation of your life, building a foundation of your life, a new foundation perhaps. I believe rainbows are very important to you. Red peonies are very important to you, I feel. Let's get some angelic energy on this. What's the divine want you to keep in mind energetically in the middle of June? Nature. You need to get out into nature to ease your mind. Sometimes all you need is to go outside, breathe the fresh air to remember who you are and where you want to be. Are you having a self-identity crisis? Who you are or where you're going to be moving forward? An absolute change in your life? Quest. That's why. Be bold and mighty forces will aid you. Take action. Good luck favors the brave. This is good luck in all types of ways. Flexibility. Gently flow through the turbulence. Life has the ability to shake you. Bend. Don't break. Okay, so don't allow it all to break you. Don't be too rigid is what they're saying. They're, <clears throat> if you stay stuck to your ideals, you're going to flounder here. If you allow the divine to come in and change your mind about things, you will have success. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune, please. Yeah, brand new home, brand new life, brand new you. Confidence. You're going to need the confidence to accept or to do whatever this is. Tell me about the lovers. Feeling very grounded in your emotions. There's important psychic energy here around you or you're coming into these gifts. You very well may be seeking out a teacher. Cancer. So there's a cancer energy around you. I wonder if someone is having a battle regarding cancer. They will have good health. There will be balance brought to their health here. The moon card. Trying to build something new. Dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Not sure where this person stands or what it is they want to do, create. Maybe that's your energy. Not sure where your passions are headed. Tell me about flexibility. Wow. Divine has lots to say about flexibility. You have a brand new beginning. You have the resources or the ability to create them, manifest them. If you need help with that, hit me up for a reading or personal growth, business coaching down below. Ten of Cups. We have nature getting into, getting back to what builds your emotional happiness. We have the Queen of Wands. Absolute perfect match in energy here. Both creative, both want to build. One is like has all of the the intuitive energy of passion, and the other has the intuitive intuitive energy of emotion. Deciding where you want to invest moving forward, someone might be thinking about moving, would absolutely be a celebration. The divine coming in to chop you out of the hangman tree. The truth is, you've been sitting sitting stagnant for too long. Coming into concert with a true soul partnership and creating, a, like, um, if you're looking for love or a kindred spirit or partnership in business, you need to expand your horizons. There's some sort of truth being delivered regarding a toxic cycle, possibly with a Capricorn or a Taurus, some sort of high priestess energy, intuitive nudges you're getting about your money, finance, and career. We have very fast forward movement possibly surrounding a, this is Scorpio energy here, but surrounding a Cancer as well. There's something that you've been sitting on that very well may be too late if you don't move quickly. That's what I feel here for some. All right. I have a message from your deceased loved ones. I'm happy at peace and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. There's some sort of concern about what someone would think about this. They don't want you to worry about them. Everything is on, on path as it should be. They're here to support you. They're supporting your journey. There's, there's no, they're not offended. 
They want, I'm hearing that they want you to know they're not offended. They don't take offense. And then this is pointing on the heels right towards the high priestess and the intuition around money, all this sort of thing. They're like, they're okay. It's okay. They're okay with what's going on. Okay. Caution. There's something around on areas that you're a Sagittarius. Uh, be bold. Mighty forces will aid you. Take action. There's caution warranted with taking this action too quickly. It's really about listening to divine timing moving forward. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I'm watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. I feel as though this is about someone's motives. You've got to really tap into what someone's motives might be around what it is you're trying to do. Everybody says yes or does something based on what their own motives will be. They use a logical approach to ease their emotional fears. See what I'm saying? I love you guys. Blessings to you.